Oh, the monkey symbols of skeleton crew. Oh, the monkey symbols of skeleton crew. It's pretty beat up though. It doesn't feature the full one of them. This one I pulled out of here, Rogers Rangers, exciting new sequel to the original Buck Rogers novel, an old ace science fiction. Back from the thrift store, let's go over some of these finds. I got about a dozen books to go over, all paperbacks. Deliverance, the James Dickey novel. This one's got the movie poster on it with John Voigt. The Devil Tree. Look at this floating head with the roots coming down. It says the savage new novel by the award-winning author of The Painted Bird and Being There. Never read it before. Now, in the mid-90s, at the height of R.L. Stein's fame, a book publisher, Warner Books, proposed for him to write an adult horror. And that turned into Superstitious. Which is a great novel. It's almost like Fifty Shades of Grey meets horror mythology. Mythological horror, I'd say. And great read. I love his style of prose in this that he takes. And it's pretty graphic. And a lot of good superstitious type of kills in it. Definitely worth reading if you get a chance. Taking a closer look here at Conan and the Emerald Lotus. So surprised to see this. And once I saw it, I'm like, this, isn't this one of the rare ones from Tor? And yes, it is. Usually the lowest one listed is in like the $30, $40 range. Although you do see them sell a lot in around $20 or so. They printed this trade paperback style from 1995. And you might have saw a glimpse here. And this came with it. Someone was using a 1986 Garbage Pail Kids card as a bookmark. Mugged Marcus. And so happy to find this. If you see like a comparison, a regular size paperback. So yeah, it is a trade size paperback from 1995 before they were totally in vogue like they are now. Um, always wanted this one. So crazy to find it in the wild. It's nonfiction and it's aliens. So you know Russell loves it. The astonishing story that shocked America. Intruders, the incredible visitations at Copley Woods. Fatal Attraction movie novelization with the movie poster, 1987 thriller. And from 2000, we got Gladiator and Hugh Will Rise, the Ridley Scott film. Another classic here. So a lot of movie novelizations hidden at the thrift store today. So all got these for 50 cents. Mary Jane Ward's The Snake Pit with the old Signet logo. 
And it's got a girl crouching in submission. From 1981, a Bantam War book. You know I can't pass up my World War II books. Churchill and the Generals. Look at them riding on the Jeep there. An account of the events which upon which the BBC Vane TV play-by-play -play Ian Curtis was based on. And rounding it out, After Earth, the uh, M. Night Shyamalan sci-fi action with Will Smith and his son. I actually like this movie. It was really hated on, but it's a good story of courage. Now he overcomes this, and I just love M. Night Shyamalan's directing style and his slow burns. Speaking of M. Night Shyamalan, I just saw Old is one that just came out last year. It's now streaming on HBO or something right now, which was good and enjoyable too. I love the village. I love signs. I love glass. I love unbreakable. I love the sixth sense. So this is really cool to find. Not that expensive, only about five bucks online. All right, back at the station here with Russell, and he brought his own pile of books today to show me what he's got. Let's see. Okay, first book I thought was was very interesting was this copyright book from 1970, but first published in the United States. Translation published in the United States in 1971 by the French author The Ice People. This is a science fiction, uh, fantastic story that's illuminating, according to um, some people in the U.S. That's got some quotes in the back. So what's it about? Is um, it about Neanderthals meet science fiction? Or? Yeah, but it's, as it says on the front, it's a novel in France, the number one best-selling novel of that time in France. Um, you know, the, I, I, you know, I saw this book and I'm like, you know, there's something, I just had a feeling. So I, I just bought it. So, and I looked it up after I got home and I'm like, this is actually pretty cool. This is a very good, interesting read for someone who's interested in something, it deals with us dealing with stuff from the past if it came back, basically, as a novel. So, it's good. What you got next? Okay, I've got The Exorcist by William Peter Blatty, which I believe this book is because of the movie, um, The Exorcist. Um, it's, it was the phenomena bestseller that inspired the classic motion picture, newly released in a version um, you've never seen before. Man, that's one of those classic horrors that I still haven't read that I need to. Um, I forget what people say about it, but yeah, so that came out in the early 70s, right? No, it came out in the 60s. Late 60s, and then the movie came out in 73. The the books... Um, okay. I think the books... Let me see, Let me because I didn't want to misquote. Um, this book... Yeah, it was early 70s. Uh, the, the movie's from the early 70s, and then this book came out in 71 the original the very first one and there's no other date in this book except for the printing of this one was in 94 so they've done two three two two other printings of this i have like the purple copy that was exercise. that was the most common one this yeah. one is hard to get a hold of but that's still the 94 reprint if they have one just like that from the 70s. That's yeah. Or so they 10, re 15. So but, they yeah. redid the original in 94, which was pretty interesting.